Hey everyone, this is Hypo Allen, and welcome to a brand new series. This is Sabrina the Animated Series Zap for the Game Boy Color. And without further ado, let's get started. So this is basically the story of the game, is that Sabrina is having a variety show, but she doesn't have any acts to, to do, but... Here we have Salem is just basically convincing her just to take the easy way out and just perform a magic trick. But unfortunately... It backfires on her and it turns all the audience into animals. So we have to go rescue them and that's pretty much it. So starting off with level 1-1, one, one, this is this is actually a pretty short level for the beginning and also with it being a short level this will also be a very short LP as this will only be about 4 parts. It will actually be the shortest one I've ever done since um, Mario Kart Double Dash. So basically the, the um, mechanics of the game is just jump on enemies and zap them and that's pretty much it. So this is this. So like I said this level is actually fairly linear and as you'll find out, if any of you who've ever played it, this game is has some similarities to Shantae, which this game actually was made by WayForward and came out about two years before Shantae did, which I gotta say, I really want to LP that game someday. I'm actually doing a second playthrough of it right now. And so just with the last enemy here, you can tell how many enemies or animals you have to rescue by that little counter down there at the bottom right. And then also presents will also give you different things. And hit there we got a heart. And that's it. And also, this game works on a password system, so just remember the passwords if you want to get back to a certain level. So moving on to World 1, World, Level 1-2. So, um, I do gotta say that this, um, this game is... A little bit about my, my personal experience with this game is that my sister actually owned this game. But with like most games that she owns, she, I was the one who ended up being it. And I actually played this quite a bit when I was younger. So, um, I remember way back w when, um, she had a Game Boy and as, at the same time I had a Game Boy. And so, you know how kids are, how they, they tend to copy cool things that they see. How I got a Game Boy, she got a Game Boy, I got a Game Boy Advance, and she got a Game Boy Advance SP and so on. But there in that press we have Salem, and so we can actually play as him, which I'll do in a little bit after I get this spider. So you can press select to switch between Sabrina and Salem, and Salem is a lot faster than Sabrina. But the only problem is that he cannot actually do damage to any enemies, but he can do this little tail whip here, which we can use to get presents. But if I would have known there was a heart there, I probably would have saved it. So Salem is good for getting into tight places that Sabrina cannot get into. And so, what we can also, so if Salem's here, then that that can either mean one of two things. It's either these cat blocks here, or that can also mean that there's a place that we can't ordinarily get to. So, here we have, that's actually pretty much what we need Salem for for this entire level. So, we'll just go down here and get the spiders that are in this room. Just jump on them, zap, and then jump, zap. And that's pretty much it. So we have another four animals left to go. So those of you who aren't familiar with this game, this is actually a licensed game based on an a based on Sabrina the Animated Series, based which is also based on a sitcom called Sabrina the Teenage Witch, which they both ran from around mid late 90s to early 2000s. And I actually remember watching this show a lot, especially at my grandparents' house because this was at a time where. My grandparents had public cable instead of just regular basic cable. Redundant, much redundant, but, um, this is one of the shows that was on in the mornings, and that's mostly when I would go over there. I remember this show being on, as well as the Buzz Lightyear spinoff show that they had where, like, Patrick Warburton was the voice of Buzz Lightyear, so, now we have all the, now we have all the animals rescued, we can go to the exit now. Just jump up here, and there we go. And there is our password, if you want to remember that. So I think one thing about this level in particular is that it's kind of... Uh, one, th one thing you'll come to find out about this level is that it gets, it gets rather repetitive um, design-wise. And I say that because this is pretty much the layout, or, of, or at least the scenery anyway, of the entire world here. It's like, I kind of wish that they could have added like a gym level, a separate gym level, possibly like maybe a cafeteria level, I don't know. Something just to kind of make this feel like a real school because this is, 
it kind of feels like they just took the as each level as the game goes on each level is just like an expanded level of the previous one before it and then that's probably one of the knocks I'll have on this game. Although, I will say, overall, this game is actually pretty decent for a licensed game. And those of you who know anything about licensed games, you know good and well that most of the time, they're just flaming piles of poo. So, um, and that's just being nice. So, we have cat blocks here, so somewhere around here should be Salem. I actually don't remember where he is. It's been a while since I've... Right, this is up until I got the, up until I downloaded this emulator. It's been years, at least a decade, since I played this game last, and so I'm actually pretty glad to play this for you guys. Even though it's gonna be super short, I just wanted to get one last LP in before before classes get back in, which is actually pretty soon when I'm recording this. So go take Salem and go down here, go all the way down here. I think one strategy that I like to have for completing this level, these levels, especially this very first one, is just to try and scour each um each floor yeah just go with floor at a time so here we have the multi bounce as i like to call it i don't think i don't remember if there's actually an official name for it but here we have the multi bounce it gives believe it or not it gives us three extra jumps in the air and oh my goodness these monkeys are the bane of my existence especially they're probably my like my most hated enemy in this game kind of like how yarko is in kirby 64 so we have four enemies left down here, so I believe if we go to where Salem hit those blocks earlier, we should be good. So if we go down here, and there's a kangaroo. Hopefully there's a heart up in that, in that platform, in that platform, in this present here. So there is. So what is over here? Also, be very, very careful because the water is insta-killed because I think some, for some reason, Somebody at way forward must have some sort of hydrophobia because you can't swim in Shantae either and these games Sure a bit of similarities like I said before, but yeah, just take note that the water will kill you on impact So we killed the spider. So there should be one. So there's one last there's it. There it is Now I just got to find the exit If I can remember where, where it is Believe it. it, it would have to, I would imagine it's somewhere where we had to use the multi jump to get to so over he here, maybe, maybe up top. Let's see if we can. Yeah, we can get up here. Okay, here it is. All right, so there's our password. Another thing about the power-ups is that um, you'll come to find out that there's a different power-up for each world. And what's cool about it is that you get there are points in the game where you can use multiple power-ups at your disposal in order to complete the levels and so this part will actually become important here pretty soon and so let's take this we actually didn't need that hard but we'll take it anyway so what's in here all right so these stars pretty much what they do is you have a star meter down there at the bottom right hand corner and so what what you will what will happen is there are five stars in each level where, where you can find stars and so what they'll do is they will allow you to just skip the jumping process and just zap the zap all the animals right in the human form without having to jump on them. And which is pretty useful and the stars are actually fairly easy to find once you once you start looking for them. So yeah, there's that. It's actually, it's actually um pretty easy. The only the only knock I will say about it is that there really aren't enough animals in some of these levels to justify finding the stars that Oh, I forgot, I forgot to kill this monkey over here. But yeah, there aren't really enough... I mean, the stars aren't close enough to where it would really justify getting it because you can honestly just go through the entire level without getting all the stars, but... it's just It just kind of speeds up the process, really, is all it does. So, we have Salem, so we must be able to use him somewhere. Okay, here we go. So, let's switch to him. And let's jump up here. And let's keep running, and there should be... Yeah, it's actually not that far. I hope there's some hearts here pretty soon, because I would hate to die here pretty soon. Well, we found the eggs at least, and there's also a multi-bounce, so... We can go back over to the left, just over to the left here. I'm going to get, I'm going to get this block. That's another thing about this game, is that sometimes the hitboxes can be kind of wonky, but it's, oh, it's fine. So now we can use the multi-bounce to get up here. Multi-bounce, well... I'm, th I'm thinking of that badge from Paper Mario. It's, re it's really just a jump rather than a bounce, to be honest with you. So there should be something in here. So there's a star. 
So let's jump here. And there's our last star. So now, just to show you what this looks like, it's just this giant beam. It kind of looks like a giant Hadouken in a, in a way, where we can just come up here and just, if I can get it right, look, get a little closer here. Just zap, zap that spider, and that instantly turns him back into human form. So there should be some more enemies here. Of course, there's only three more. So there's one. I'm actually surprised it didn't get hit there. So, oh yeah, we desperately need that heart there. So there's that. So I'm so there's a monkey here as well, and one more. I'm going to assume it's a spider because those seem to be the most common enemies to, um, that I end up missing whenever I'm trying to complete some of these levels, or really this world in particular. Because actually another thing about oh, there's a, it's a monkey rather. Okay, so there's that, and so the exit is going to be right where Salem just was. So let's go down here, and jump, and that's it. Alright, so after every world there will be a boss, and these bosses are, are just balls easy. Just jump on them, and that's pretty much it. Just jump, just wait for that, just jump, and he'll jump, and do that, zap him. And that's it. No, no, seriously, that is how easy some of these bosses can be. Alright, and that's gonna do it for World 1, but before we end this video off, uh, there is one last thing that I wanna show you. I'll be right back. Alright, so at the very beginning of the fourth level of the first world is, I'm probably gonna put the password if you wanna see this for yourself. So, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna lose all of my hearts. Just jump into the monkey if you for all I care. Just do that. And so let's wait for this apple to come up with the water and just jump into it. Now did you see it? Now I'm probably gonna re replay this in post, so just be so just pay attention to the life counter this time. Notice how I don't lose but one, but two lives. You get double jeopardy to death, and it's something I actually discovered by accident as a child playing this game. And it's something that, it's just something interesting to look at, you know. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been HypoWow, and until next time, I'll see y'all later.